Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing a little bit mono white devotion here. We got Al Seed of Life's Bounty, Giant Killer, which is great. Healer's Hawk and Shadow Spear. Two Shadow Spear. Solid equipment. Four Johnny's Pride Mate, four Daxos, two Tomic, four Heliod, three Linden, two Gideon Blackblade, and four Johnny Strength of the Pride. And we're looking at uh, 24 lands here, as you might expect. Um. Is there no way to just exchange these one for one? There should be. I could should be able to just bring this in. But I guess that's not a thing. So I got to manually get rid of all of these and click 40 times. 38 to be exact. In order to get all these lands in here. Sideboard, we have two Dawn of Hope, four Devout Decree, two Disenchant, two Glass Casket, two Hushbringer, one Gideon Blackblade, and two Unbreakable Formation. This deck was played by James Gustafson to a 13th place finish. 13th place finish. At this previous weekend's uh, classic in Philadelphia, so let's let's see how it goes. As for control, so I can play fun with Ashiok and and Dream Trawler. Yeah, that sounds actually like the exact thing I want to do for sure, my dude. Yeah, this hand seems good. Got a two one drops, two drop, a three drop, four drop. I know it's because I read your articles tonight at coolstuffinc.com. Man, Mark, you're a good dude, man. I appreciate you. Brandon, you should send me your list so I can take a look at it. Um. I feel like I'm 100% blocking here. If they let me. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Because that lets us curve out here. is what I was afraid of without the healer's hawk on board. I mean, arguably, maybe we should just look... Maybe we just don't block there. But I was a little bit afraid of, uh... Calvocate of Calamity? Is that what it's called? Interesting. Five, six, seven, eight. Not really the same yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Ironically, we are a life gain deck that is not gaining enough life. You gain life able to number of creatures you control. Hmm. Well, we could just make an Johnny's Pride mate, or we can play two guys. One, two, three, four, five. It's funny because like in our hand is. Probably dead. They're probably just gonna shock this, attack us for four, five, six, seven, eight, and kill us. That's my guess. They did not do that.
Yeah, blocking here prevents three damage. This prevents four, but like we get to kill a guy this way, so. And they can activate this. We take five, six, seven, go to one. Or they just kill us with that. That's good too. Why did this guy's like, I'm gonna become a creature at the last minute? What's that about? Um, yeah, we're just gonna bring in all of those. Giant killer doesn't seem great here because they don't have big creatures. Bring in devout decree. Eh, no, no. Glass casket's probably very, very good. I don't think I wanted to Johnny bring in one glass casket. Um, I can see actually the misplay of that game being just blocking with Healer's Hawk. Like, if we don't block with Healer's Hawk, Daxos is a 2-3 instead, which means they can't just shock him. What's the hold up, y'all? Also, in case you guys are wondering, our uh, the amount of dropped frames is significantly lower this time, so. I will play first. Yeah, we'll keep this. Pride Mate into Linden into Pride Mate seems very good. Turn? What's going on? Healer's Hawk. <laughs> Settle in the new pad. Working on it. Working on it, my dude. Uh, now we just like Pride Made Healer's Hawk, right? Or we can play Linden next turn and then play both of these. And uh, that sets us up to grow a Johnny's Pride Mate next turn without being susceptible to any of the two damage spells like Shock or Fat Giant. Turns out recursive team team battle rage is a little busted. I agree with you. Yep, and of course they have flaw coil. We played it this way to protect Daxos, but we probably should have played it the other way because then we actually gain the pride. Maybe becomes a 3 3. Yeah. I was just worried about shock, but probably incorrect. That's interesting. So, 1 2 3, so we can just play you. Play this. Trample and lifelink, huh? I mean, you can block and then we just travel over for three, which seems totally fine. 
Yeah, that seems pretty good. That card seems pretty unbeatable against the red deck. Oh boy. Yep, you get to kill my bird. And his pride mate gets bigger. And they have one card in hand? That's probably, they're probably gonna just scoop here. Oh, they have no cards in hand. Any creature here is just nuts. Well, that's kind of a creature, yeah. So what are they? Block four, five, six, seven. And we get to eat everything but this guy. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we're just passing here because, like, I don't want to lose my 7 7 and, like, they just don't have good attacks. Like, because they can just block with everything, right? Sure. Surgery, This is... I'm kind of tempted to just equip an attack because, like, we're not going to use... I guess we don't want to have to move it back. Yeah, that's fine. doing that. Yikes. Alright, well, this is a lot of... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can attack for 9. We'd still be able to go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this guy would obviously live. I mean, they can't really over they can't really overrun us. We just gain eight if they attack with anybody. So like, I mean, with one card in hand, we can just. I, I'm pretty sure we're just fine. guy does have trample I guess. Enjoy yourself and live like a king. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my fucking god, come on. Nine lands? five spells this just feels bad I think it's okay just because we do have a uh... because we're either clearing their whole board or most of it and they have no cards in hand and they can't activate castle right here
Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I guess we're not getting life from that, though, so. Yeah, that's whatever. That's why I, I knew we should have put this on there. It was just there's no reason to put it on here. I wanted to diversify and have more than one 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 because they have a lot of one ones as well, but it just was not the correct play. I think keeping Daxos alive was way more relevant. Yep, this guy's first strike, this guy's a 4 3, so our 1 1s are pretty much neutralized right now. We've drawn a ridiculous amount of lands and they've drawn multiple pro white guys, so. What can you do? Well, draw less lands, I guess. That is correct. Pro red. Yeah, we can actually kill the Tybalt. If we really want to, which is not bad. So, target creature. Pro white? Or red, rather? Still make a guy. So I mean, look, you have enough guys to. These are just the problem right here, the pro white guys. Because now they get to deal six, but I guess we get to deal two each turn. I mean, they get to block. We're not trying to get damage in, but. I see. This is fascinating. So they clearly drew Ember Cleave, or they just. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five.
it's not terrible. I mean, we still take six from here, right? And then seven, eight. And then they have two guys. True friends always stand by your side. Yeah, this is not ideal. Yep, that'll do. All right. Interesting. I did not think we were going to lose this match, but here we are. All right, so mono white is worse than mono red. That's the lesson that uh, we've just learned. All right, let's go. Oh man, this is a heck of a <laughs> heck of a delay here. All right, we did it. Um, yeah, that seemed fine. Best part about Tomic is that it just costs two. It costs a dub's white. Permafrost. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, go for that Heliod. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Joke's on you. I got two healing outs. Oh, that's sad. Joke's on me. Yep, you're just killing all my things. You don't do anything, do you? All right, well. Uh, three each of those are some non-land, non-token permanent. Cool. Shadow Spear, I guess. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four. We can't actually attack and give it lifelink, unfortunately. This card a card seems easy enough. Uh, if we sacrifice the creature land, mobilize district, like we're just gonna have to sacrifice the Heliod next turn. Um, so just, I think we should keep making one ones here. Absorbing my healer talk. Wow. Four activate. Can't do anything. There. Oh yeah, it also says non-land. But I mean, like even so, like I was just trying to figure out like. It's not strategically better, I don't think, because you're just giving them an extra Doom Foretold, so they're le you're letting them sacrifice two creatures instead of just one. Hmm. Interesting. Still says it costs four. I feel like that's a card that, like, should say it costs less. I have one card in hand. I guess we're just hoping to dodge Kaya's Wraths. Oh, did they crack one? That's fascinating. Five. Is that vigilance? It does have vigilance. So the text only costs four, right? And it should only cost three, right? 
Is it gonna tap itself? Why? Hold on. It's still in. It's gonna cost one less to actually treat a legendary creature and planeswalker. I control a legendary creature. Shouldn't it cost three? What am I missing here? Yeah, that's weird. Usually they change the usually like the cost change on cards. But that was good though, because now we can still activate our castle, which is really what we're going for. Yep. They're like, oh thank goodness I drew my Kaya's wrath off the top. Dance of the Mance. Fantastic. <sighs> yeah, this deck just seems great. I actually have no idea how we're going to beat that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. No attacks, I guess. It's okay, guys. They only have 17, 18 power on board. That deals us two a turn. Yep, that is something. I'm going to concede. Man, disenchant doesn't even do that much because it's like, well, I'll just get it back, I guess. This deck seems very hard to deal with. I'm kind of getting real tired, too. Um... I mean, I don't know if we have a way to deal with Dance of the Mance is really the problem. I mean, obviously, Giant Killer is actually decent if they play Dance of the Mance, though, so... I don't know, man. I guess this is... I have no idea. I'll check in for my flight. Seems fine.
fucking Christ. Of course you have Noxious Grass. Why wouldn't you? I bet you have, they have Kai's Wrath next turn too, huh? I felt real good about that to Johnny too. I was like, this is cool. We're going to be able to... I guess they can't because they have... Never mind. They always do have it. Yep. Heliod just doesn't do anything. I have yet to have a Heliod that's actually been online. Oh, well, that's hard to deal with. Wow, this deck seems fantastic, and I'm a fan of it. Yeah, you just have no way to deal with this. Like... so weird that it keeps doing that. <laughs> Sweet. Interesting. I would have probably chose Dream Trawler there. We have to have four removal spells for this, right? Because they just make it hexproof three times. It's Dance of the Mance. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, we're just done here. Unfortunately, at 03, I do not think this deck has what it takes. It's 03, right? Or is it 03 or 02? I actually don't know. I wish there was a way. We played against Mono Red. We played against the Dance of the Mance deck. What was the was there another deck we played? I think we'll do one more because I don't think we're, I think we're O2. Yeah, I'll keep this. This seems very, very good. Yeah, 
Gideon giving Pride Mate lifelink next turn seems pretty good. Well, not anymore. Oh look, they took the Gideon. That's crazy. I'm still in good shape here, but... Sure. Giant Killer does not seem to be doing much work in this format, unfortunately. just play this as a 1-1 one -one, actually. I mean being able to tap this guy down next turn is not bad. That seems good. I feel like Hushbringer is pretty decent in this matchup. We can take out Shadow Spear. Take out Giant Killers. Uh, in. Hushbringer. Other Gideon seems pretty good. Glass Casket seems fine. Seems fine. We can use another white source, but I mean, come on. I think we know we'll draw it. Or will we? We will not. Got it. Any endure at your service. I will lend you my strength. It's okay. Got more Gideons where that came from.
share in my light. That seems good. Oh, they did nothing? Jeez. Prepare for battle. Yeah, this game's over. Maybe? Okay. Yeah, one, two. Not great. I don't know if this deck is wonderful. <laughs> I'm leaning towards no, probably not. But uh, I like the idea of it, and that's what that's what really drew me to it. Check me out on patreon.com slash rank before. Cool stuff, Inc., every Wednesday. Manatraders.com. Link and promo code are in the description. You'll get 20% off for the first three months of any subscription. And uh, you can also find me at uh, twitch.tv slash franklapore. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll see you later.